What if? We no longer had to rely on donor tissues to restore damaged ones. What if? We no longer had to depend on needle sticks and mechanical pumps to live a normal life. What if? We no longer have to suffer the consequences of uncontrolled scarring. At the Center for Advanced Regenerative Engineering, CARE, a transdisciplinary team of investigators, surgeons, and industry partners are working to produce new tools that are capable of unlocking our body's potential to heal. The technological advances and the job skills that will make the necessary breakthroughs possible are captured in a new field called regenerative engineering. Regenerative engineering is the convergence of recent advances in material science, stem cell and developmental biology, physical sciences, and translational medicine, with the sole goal of developing tools that are scalable and reliable in order to regenerate or reconstruct tissues and organs. It's a field that aims to enable the widespread use and practice of regenerative medicine. Center-related research includes the regeneration of bone, bladder, blood vessels, reproductive tissues, pancreas, skin, and heart. As both a type 1 diabetic patient and someone in the area of diabetes research, I've come to realize that diabetes can't be cured through a single discipline. We're bringing experts from endocrinology, surgery, immunology to tackle these really tough medical challenges. And this collaborative approach makes me really excited for the cures we could potentially see in the future. Competencies at CARE include nanoscale to macroscale biomaterials and imaging technologies, large and small preclinical models, controlled delivery of therapeutics, the integration of electronics into tissues, additive manufacturing, and regenerative engineering education. We have a stellar advisory board that has expertise in taking a concept from the bench to product and count on over 40 dedicated engineering, biology, and surgery faculty from five institutions here in Chicago. Being able to bring together uh, people that are developing tools, people that are creating new types of materials with people that are actually using them and implementing them on the surgical front is absolutely essential in this field. And so creating a, a center that brings together uh, people from really not just different fields, but many different universities and institutions, I think is a major accomplishment. CARE will be an extraordinary success because many of the technologies that we've developed now for the last couple of decades will be immediately used and implemented through uh, many of the projects that are, going to, that are going to be carried out at CARE. CARE's programs include translational grants to facilitate technology transfer to industry and society, Convergence Awards to facilitate the acquisition of regenerative engineering skills, sabbaticals and internships to promote collaboration, a diverse workforce, and the inclusive dissemination of ideas and technologies worldwide. The competition for undergraduate regenerative engineering to foster student-driven teams focused on tissue regeneration projects and the regenerative engineering training program to train a biomedical workforce skilled in regenerative engineering convergence research and technology transfer. Uh, one of the groups that I'm affiliated with, the Center for Synthetic Biology, is creating new biological therapeutics, new versions of antibodies that can treat disease. And one of the challenges with these drugs is delivery. We're excited about CARE's expertise in delivery technologies and with the right disease experts that can implement those. So it gives us an avenue to deploy these novel therapeutics. Dr. Amir's efforts have really been uh, really the catalyst for creating this multi-institutional, multi-disciplinary uh, program that's responsible for the setting for establishing this program in the Chicago area. In urogynecology, my patients face a lot of challenges with pelvic organ prolapse. Our options right now for reconstruction are fairly limited. We can either use native tissue repairs or we can reinforce them with a polypropylene mesh. With polypropylene mesh, there's a lot of challenges with erosion, with pain. Vaginal mesh made the national news. 
I think with regenerative engineering, there is a lot of opportunity to come up with better materials and better methods for reconstructing in our surgeries. By creating this initiative and building this into residencies, we can teach and also train the next generation, bringing together institutions, different disciplines, different specialties. I find that to be somewhat awesome. The Center for Advanced Regenerative Engineering, unlocking your body's potential to heal.